first, we're going to just make a normal plant. To do that, add a shape. It doesn't really matter which type, because you're going to want to delete everything except for one vertice. Next, add a skin modifier. Now extrude it up. Press Ctrl A to scale the width. I think that's pretty good. Now let's add the leaves. We'll make two materials. This one will be the stem, and these will be the leaves. Now add the skin modifier with Control A. For the stem material, I'm going to select everything, then assign it, and just make it a nice green color. Now for the leaves, add a plane and assign the leaves to it. Add an image texture and plug it into the base color. Now I'm going to use this plant texture, there's a link to it in the description. If you're using Eevee, you'll want to change the blend mode to alpha clip and the shadow mode to alpha clip, though in cycles this doesn't matter. Also, make sure to plug the alpha of the image texture into the alpha of the principled BSDF. I'm now going to edit the UV of the leaves. I like having one texture for a bunch of different things. That way you can just change one material and it will affect everything. Now let's move the leaf up to here. And now just keep adding leaves. You can also press Ctrl R to make a loop cut and have the leaves be a bit bendy. Now, shade to smooth, and enable auto smooth, and that's pretty much it. This is basically just what I do for plants. You can make a lot of different types just by doing this. Unfortunately, if you have thousands of these plants in one scene, things are going to start to get a bit slow. So I prefer to make a low poly version. To make this version, first add a plane, then add the leaf texture. Then just make something that looks interesting. Since you're only going to be seeing it from far away, it really doesn't have to make sense. Just mash a whole bunch of leaves together. Now that that's done, I'm going to make a few more. That should be good. And that's about it for the plants. Just put them wherever you need them. And if you need to fill in a large space, use the low poly ones. And now to make the tree. It's actually going to be pretty similar to how we made the plant. First add a shape, then delete everything except for one vertice. Extrude it up a bit. And then add a skin modifier. Control A to change the width. And keep extruding until you have a tree shape. I think that should be good. Now let's add the leaves. First add a sphere and shape it into like a bowl shape. Now move it to where you want the leaves to be.
and now I'm going to add this bark texture and the leaf texture we made earlier. The bark texture is basically just the same as the stem. Now select the leaves. You can do that with L and assign the leaves to them. I'm also going to add a plane and assign the leaf texture to that as well. Now edit the UV. I think I'm going to use these leaves here. Now edit these leaf dome things on the tree and just make it all green. Now cover the domes in these leaves. Also, in Psychos, if you have too many textures together, there will be a bit of a problem with the lighting. To fix this, go to Render Properties and increase the transparent value. And that's about it. No matter what type of tree I'm making, this is always how I do it.